a 6'3 junior from Leaving, Australia, Tim Jesse Edwards. just kind of plants herself there on that left side. She's a lefty shooter, but she couldn't get that one so far for Minnesota. There's a deep look for Jess Lewis, and the block from behind for Minnesota. Uh, you know who's flirting with the triple-double is Jesse Edwards. The rare blocks, rebound, points, triple-double. Exactly. She's a player, though, and I've talked about this every every game I've called, I think, for Minnesota. I just love her. She's that blue-collar worker, gets in there, just does the dirty work, does the things, and it's not flashy, but, boy, does she get it done. You see Jesse Edwards. She's got a career high right now. And that's, she has been the reason that Hubbard has struggled so much in the paint. Those long arms just getting hands on everything. And not only that, but she's doing an excellent job of moving her feet and disrupting passing lanes and not allowing easy balls to get inside the paint. Career high, eight blocks, eight rebounds, nine points right now for Jesse Edwards. Off pace a bit, but Detroit's used to it. That's what they do. Yep. They know how it goes. Yep. Yeah, right now Detroit, half of their shot attempts have been three-pointers from Minnesota. It's been about a third of their shots, so both these teams really like to go deep. Cohen will put him up, but uh, that 234 last year, a program record. And the first words had 11 rebounds the other night in the Florida State game. That's one of her skills as Bell makes her second three-point shot of the day. The charge called against Detroit. Minnesota will get the ball. Yeah, that was a nice play. Was into it or whatever, and Marlene Stallings actually convinced her Helped, I mean, helped her decide. I don't know if she was the sole. Yeah. Uh, I got started and decided, you know what? I want to keep playing this sport. It's a sport that I love. It's what I'm good at. It's what I want to do. And here she is in Minnesota succeeding. The they got back up right away. And so um, all the way out to Marinkovic. Looking for 20 points on the day. No good. Dwight hangs on. And call for the offensive foul. Jesse Edwards standing tall. And that's, you were just mentioning the effect that Jesse Edwards has in a game. She does those little things, those intangibles, and right here does a great job of sliding over, recognizing White is off the bounce. Shatrice White going off the bounce. She's coming at you full steam. Edwards doing a great job of taking that charge. Thomas again with the tip. Conde with the take, and the high floater won't fall. Late in the third quarter, you can see the fatigue setting in in the Golden Gophers. And they've done it with a little bit to get production out of your post player. She had the likes of Barb Frankie, undersized post in the Big Ten, and was an all-Big Ten performer. And she said, Barb Frankie is the player that made me believe that smaller posts can do amazing things. How about this post doing some pretty good things? Jesse Edwards standing tall against Chatrice White, and that is number three on White. This will determine how good this team will be this season. She said it was a work in progress. Comparing it to that. Adamico, wide open left wing, wants three, rims around, no good. Edwards the rebound. Right elbow they go, short corner right for Martin now. Driving baseline, cut off there. They hand it to White, who runs over Edwards underneath the cylinder, and they still call the charge. Now, she must have been far enough into the baseline, huh? Yep. Now the second personal foul going against White. And she'll have to come out. She cannot buy a bucket. King drives left baseline, steps through, runs over Edwards. Whistle charge. Edwards is not afraid to take a charge. Yeah, well, and she could have almost been charged with traveling before the charge because, again, the ball gets lodged between uh, the Hoya and Jesse Edwards. Third team move by Hubbard, just couldn't get it to fall. 30 seconds to play in the second. Woodard, crossover drive left baseline, runs over Edwards, and another charge drawn by Edwards. And 
Uh, she had the wind knocked out of her there. Jesse Edwards really does a great job. She, you know, she's following the cardinal rules of playing defense along the baseline. Get your foot right there, and they've either got to run over you or go around you. So she's been doing a great job. And start the fourth quarter with turnover after turnover. 11-point lead. Woodard free throw line starts right, comes back left. Shot blocked by Edwards. She picks up the basketball. Cannon Falls Bakery doesn't come up with that many turnovers every day. Excuse me, that's Woodard now in the angle right, right in the lane. They go Ramil, quick jump hook, no good. Rebound in traffic. Edwards draws a crowd and draws the foul as well. On the floor, kicks it out, Burton right wing to the right corner. White, shuffled the feet, no whistle, runs over Edwards, whistle, charge. That is a oh. big, big play by the junior. Oh. I'm not sure on that one. Well, she did go in there pretty aggressively and lowered the shoulder. Gophers will take it. Player control foul, though. Burton starts a drive, left in the lane, gets to the hoop, missed it, and Edwards pulls down the rebound. You got a, it's really hard, and for that inside game for Harvard, you have Jesse Edwards inside for Minnesota, who's a junior 6'3". So that's definitely a power for Minnesota. The first eight field goals so far in this first period have been from behind the arc. Anything is possible. You want a big run, anything can happen, but you, you got to start by hitting baskets, and that's what's key. Minnesota coming up. Hedro, Hedstrom had 13 points in their most recent game. She scored double figures in five of the last six. To this Illini team, they definitely love her underneath. As we saw the mm. shot clock go down under 10, Beasley just that ball rimming out. Beasley's not the kind of player that... Beasley throwing it inside. Mm. That was Allie Ann the end of the second quarter. It was Cat and Head trying to run in on Jesse Edwards, but they called an offensive foul on Catnett. Illinois is 29%. Holoshinska taking a three over everybody. Not a, not a really good shot and good look from Holoshinska. Another missed three uh, from Illinois. Illinois coaching staff. Certainly one of them is probably to get more aggressive underneath, not have to rely by nine. Wittinger with the jumper is a no-go. Well, that was a nice move by Holoshinska, but it'll go back to Minnesota. Wow. Pretty intense. Again, we can see we can see a lot of passing. Three shot. Davis will sure be making a lot of feisty Davis. She's definitely feisty out there. Small but feisty. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Cooley, the defense is hard, and oh, Minnesota takes it. She also looks to be the playmaker a lot of the time. Shot by Doyle, didn't make it. She is a fast basketball player. Oh, that looks like a... Russian. Another boxing information by Minnesota. Mackenzie. Oh, no good. Minnesota. Ooh, and that's not good. Edwards got the rebound on that, number 10 for Minnesota. Ham with the shot. Oh, and that was risky pass there by Disterhoff. That Minnesota defense is not letting Iowa get past. And now they get through through Gustafs, and she's not good. She wasn't able to make it this time, and Edwards with the rebound passes the bell. <laughs> not this time, but Ohio State's missing. Bell at the head of the circle, gives it now top of the key for Edwards. Right wing open, three-point shot by Wagner, won't go. Long rebound at the foul line for Edwards. Back Harper on the dribble and the drive, pitch right wing Lewis. She'll angle through the paint, go to the low with a low right, scooped it up, missed it. Lewis in amongst the trees and couldn't get it to go at Harper, Ohio State. Starts in, fades back, now drives, pulls up at the elbow, in and out on the jump shot. Rebound off to Minnesota's Edwards. Edward right corner, Calhoun sizes it up and rattles out of three. Another board, Waterman puts it back up and missed low on the left. OSU, one of its last 17 shooting. Hustled and stole it. Now for Mitchell. Runs back one on two. Mitchell in from the right. Swatted over the wheel. Drops it inside. Caught by McCoy. Sweeps in. Blew a layup low left. Both. Calhoun, one hand pass. McCoy squares up. 
Caught her off guard, missed a 10 footer just inside the. Crossing over, driving right, bounces underneath Howard, and Fredrickson ran over a gopher for a charge. Yes. And Love to see it. Jesse Edwards drew the charge. Bree Bernstrom checks in. Left wing, out front, Young, straight on from 18. Back iron, no good. Rebound picked up by Edwards. Jock, full speed ahead now to Gilreath. Right wing, her three, again missing. And again, the Gophers get the rebound and a foul going against Abby Leshevsky. 